So you've yeah. actually bought a vial of your sweat <laughs> yes. in uh, for I us. I bought two, one for you each. Every masterpiece has its cheap copy. Now, if you're in possession of a Wi-Fi router, you're not new to influencers selling products or UK e-girls selling liquids. This one is selling a version far more personal. The person in question is called Alexia Grace. She's tried her hand at all things to get to the top of the e-girl ladder. But now she's taken a leaf out of Elle Delphine's book from when she sold her bath water. Now, Alexia is selling her sweat. Yes, you heard that right. After an intense workout, Alexia Alexia bottles up jars of her own sweat and sells it to her fans online, which she says makes her up to £10,000 a week. Mmm, ego sweat. We all want it. But my question is, what is the purpose? Does it dance? Does it make a cool sound when you tilt it? Do it jork your peanuts? Do it jiggle? But do you remember when Belle Delphine released her bath water? I'm saying this as if it's a household topic. But people were drinking that shit down. People were gulping it like the watering hole had dried up. People were like, mmm, gotta get me some more of that sweet, sweet dirt water, so I've been told. But apparently, without even consuming this sweat jar, what a sentence I can actually say, by the way. Apparently, without even consumption, she's making people physically sick. This morning, fans left vomiting by seriously disgusting way woman makes 10k per week. But would you do it? <laughs> No. I mean, uh, unless you guys, unless you guys want me to. Just a joke. Unless. 10 likes and I'll say, but after doing my scientific research to get to the bottom of where I could hypothetically purchase this innovative product, well, I couldn't find a link to a website. She has a link tree, which is just a very zoomed in photo of her body with a link to her naughty site. Also, is that a left-handed mouse? Fun fact, people used to be burnt at the stake for being left-handed. It's not really that fun of a fact, actually. Flaming facts. But I'm not saying that I think we should burn Alexia. Maybe verbally. Like, <laughs> sick burn, bro. Maybe say like, Big, stinky, poopy face. Literally, she's selling sweat. Which in itself, I guess, is kind of harmless. Unless she has Ebola or hepatitis. In that case, you could probably call her a super spreader. That is not an OnlyFans joke. I'm not that sort of male. I'm just not like the other girls. You weren't always doing what you're doing online and, and, and as an influencer and, and selling things like that. You had nine to five jobs previously. What sort of things had you been doing? So, like, my main line of work was cabin crew. And I started doing this in lockdown. So, I was cabin crew and then... In lockdown, I was a barista. Mm -hmm. And then I sort of like fell into this line of work on accident, to be honest. Fell into it. Do you guys ever just fall into selling bodily fluids? I sure know I do. I always sell my water fluid that doesn't come. I don't sell that either. If my milkers made milk, I'd sell milk. Mm. Milkly. Cows would be out of business. Cows would be making commentary YouTube videos. What is this video about again? Oh yeah, she said she's fallen into selling her sweat. Yeah, you, you don't do that. You fall into things like maybe art. Or you may find that you have a natural talent for swallowing food whole. That's something you fall into. But rinsing your workout socks, that's a choice. You don't just stumble across that. And one person actually messaged me and asked me if they could buy, it was my head guard uh, that I like spar in. So I was like, okay then, yeah, sure. And then he recommended me on, I think it was a Reddit group. That's your red flag, Alexia. Reddit users messaging you, lock your doors, board up your windows. If you think they're sweet, innocent men, or sweat, innocent men, bit of wordplay for you there. They're asking to buy your sweat. They aren't normal. They are unwell. <laughs> but my favourite thing about this is the presenters of the show. They've gone into work that morning and asked who they've got on the show today. Just a lady with a Brammy accent who's selling her bodily fluids. They all just came flowing in, like so many of them wanting to buy it. And then that's when someone asked me to buy one, of, asked to buy one of these a jar. So you've yeah. actually bought a vial of your sweat <laughs> yes. in uh, for I us. I bought two, one for you each. One each, thank you. Uh, <laughs> At least she's generous. She even has brand identity. I was expecting a plastic water bottle, but she's been smelting her own sand. No single-use plastics in the Alexia Grace household. But you wouldn't believe it. I don't have one. It's a PNG. Got you, didn't I? Smash like if I got you. Because as I went to mention earlier, before I got distracted by burning people at the stake, other than DMing her, as far as I'm aware, there is no public place to buy this. And I don't really want to do that. I was going to do this bit where I was all like, look guys, I got the sweat. I decided not to reach out. So when someone first asked me for a vial... I'd say they were vile. But when someone asked me for a vial, I, I was literally, I was up front, I was like, I have no idea. How on earth do I fill a vial with yeah. sweat? And obviously, he, he liked to buy sweat, so he had already bought it before, so he knew how to. Is that obvious? Am I missing the market here? Is there an underground sweat dealing ring? Probably sweaty rings, too. I would Google the market size, but I'm scared. I'm scared that I'm gonna be put on a list. The sweaty watch list. That's just you guys. I'm joking, I'm joking. This would be an amazing time to plug some shower gel merch. Washly. I feel like a moth in this video, I'm just getting distracted. But Alexia just told us that she has men instructing her on how to distribute sweat. Gay son or sweaty daughter. However, I will say, fair play for getting your bread. I know some people are gonna be 
me angry at this. I mean, the concept is ridiculous. I'm not endorsing it by any means. But it's not exploiting kids or younger fans. It's exploiting weird men who are probably better off having their money taken from them. Alexia is Batman. Batwoman. Sweaty woman. But to be fair, in my opinion, this is a lot better than some of the other e-girls that we've discussed on this channel. Because we've spoken about people who walk around in public wearing nothing but paint. People seeking, and I quote, barely legal students. And people trying to involve their name with P. Diddy. Because the old rage bait train, it's been seeing a lot of action recently. But some of it has been genuinely bad. And content creation and YouTube, it's kind of moved a lot away from what it was when I was growing up. And it seems like every time I load up Twitter, I see someone doing something so outrageous to just be famous and viral instantly. Like, it just seems like everyone's skipping the middle process. Everyone just wants to be seen and liked straight away. No one wants to build an audience. No one wants to have the journey. People want to just sell moldy cheese or fluids. What happened to, like, Minecraft Let's Plays prison? What happened to funny YouTubers watching and reacting to videos together? Me when I'm accused of... No, what was I going to say? Oh, careful what you're going to say here, mate. <laughs> Maybe it's never been safe. Well, I have got, I've got one guy that's brought um, not just vials, but he buys me head guards on my Amazon wish list, and then I wear them, do my stuff, boxing gloves a lot, and overall, so I've been doing it for a year and a half, he spent 40,000 on it. Uh, no! 40,000 of the king's finest. If you're Canadian, that's like a million dollars. That's a lot of money. I wonder if she has channel members. Hey guys, did you know you could be a member to this channel? That way I can fund a sweatsuit and sweat all over you little so-and-sos. But could you imagine when YouTube was just starting? Out. Like I'm talking before PewDiePie said a naughty word on a bridge, before people started making diss tracks on each other saying they had small willies, before podcasts saying that women shouldn't have rights over their own uterus. Could you imagine saying to a YouTube enjoyer, a FIFA YouTuber named Theo Baker is going to have a boxing fight with his mate Joe Weller. Joe Weller will win that fight and then fight KSI the FIFA YouTuber turned professional song man. KSI will swing some windmills at Joe Weller, he'll somehow win that fight and then fight a person who made great vines such as, my name's not Jerome. But before he fights KSI, he'll fly to Japan and uh, vlog a dead body. And after the fight and pretending they hate each other, they'll join forces and sell a drinks brand to children. They will then later get sued many times in the process, allegedly. But KSI will eventually go on to start his own boxing promotion company where he will get adult content creators to punch each other. And then this will lead to someone having a platform to sell their own sweat. What the fuck? Do you feel safe doing this, Alexia? I worry slightly that, that they, you know, some of these people, clearly somebody who's spending over 40,000 and pounds on you and has bought you lots of cars is, 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 is sort of quite obsessed with the idea of what you're giving him. Um, of course, there's obviously the risk factor, but I feel like the platform, it, it does protect you from these things. That might be what you think. I feel like maybe somebody who has enough disposable income to fund a stranger on the internet's life, they probably will be able to find out information like that. They're clearly not there in the head. Obsession can be dangerous. Stalkers are out there, and this isn't me trying to do a bit for a joke. People in that position may see that you two are now internet buddies. And that's kind of the bit that terrifies me with this. The mind of somebody who is clearly not very well may associate giving with being owed something in return. And this is where the cycle, in my opinion, could get quite vicious. And I don't want to look like I'm making a joke out of this situation. I genuinely hope when Alexia is distributing her juices that she is safe. But this ain't no duck walking up to no lemonade stand. This is a creepy man who most likely has a neck beard trying to buy someone's bodily fluids. And I, a guy who often thinks, if something's too good to be true, it probably is. Free money, I just... Don't believe it ever can be free. But that's all from me, folks. I'm assuming this is going to be something that develops. And if it is, I will dive into it, metaphorically. Unless this video gets 10 billion likes. Like and subscribe and I'll fund a pool of sweat.